ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு ஈஸி ஆயுர்வேதா வீடியோஸ் ஐம் டாக்டர் மேனசா இன் டுடேஸ் வீடியோ ஐ வில் டாக் அபவுட் த ரோல் ஆஃப் ரெகுலர் எக்ஸசைஸ் இன் மேக்கிங் ஒன்ஸ் மைண்ட் ஸ்ட்ராங் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ இட்ஸ் ரோல் இன் பெயின் டாலரன்ஸ் பேலன்ஸ்ட் ஃபுட் ரெகுலர் எக்ஸசைஸ் அண்ட் டைம்லி ஸ்லீப் ஃப்ரம் த ட்ரையர்ட் ஆஃப் ஹெல்தி லைஃப் எக்ஸசைஸ் இஸ் இசென்ஷியல் ஃபார் ப்ராப்பர் பிரெயின் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் பர்த்ஸ் டு கோல்டன் இயர்ஸ் when i watched a hindi movie uri a dialogue which caught my attention which of course has now become an emotional statement of almost all indians is the protagonist who is an army official asking his fellow members how's the josh and they replying back as it's high sir it made me think how after a rigorous physical activity an army personnel athlete police personnel and people who exercise regularly don't feel the pain of exercise and feel less about stress why don't they feel the pain and sore muscles in spite of being regularly indulged in exercise probably these people are more mentally strong enough to tolerate exercise induced pains or maybe exercise creates a happy environment in the brain and mind which enables in blocking the pain let us try to decode how exercise makes people mentally strong neuroscientists believe that major nervous system development and its organization continues throughout the life although this mostly occurs in first 5 years of life now let us see how exercise helps to build a strong mind during exercise when muscles contract the blood flow to the brain and other parts of the body increases along with the release of neurotransmitter called BDNF that is brain derived neurotrophic factor along with BDNF other chemical like endorphins dopamine and serotonin are released during exercise among these chemicals endorphins play a major role in reducing the effects of pain and stress endorphins are the neurotransmitters which help to transmit electrical signals within the nervous system they are secreted by the central nervous system and pituitary gland they are released in response to prolonged and continuous exercise and during stress they inhibit the communication of pain and stress to the brain therefore people who do regular exercise have good quantity of endorphins and this makes them immune to excessive pain and stress regular exercise increases the blood flow to the brain through increased cardiovascular activity and thus provides essential nutrients such as glucose and oxygen to the brain and rest of the body it also helps to regulate blood sugar levels in children it is observed that exercise has shown to increase both cognitive and motor skill development exercise increases memory and slows down the aging process of the brain people who do exercise regularly have much lower rate of suffering from memory loss dementia and alzheimer's disease we need to exercise 30 minutes per day or 120 to 150 minutes per week to get good dose of endorphins and to enjoy the benefits of exercise laghavam கர்ம சாமர்த்தியம் தீப்தோ அக்னி மேதசக்ஷய விபக்த கனகாத்தம் வியாயாமாத் உபஜாயத்தி அக்கார்டிங் டு ஆயுர்வேதா எக்ஸசைஸ் டன் இன் ப்ராப்பர் குவாலிட்டி அண்ட் குவான்டிட்டி ப்ரொவைட்ஸ் லாகவம் தட் இஸ் லைட்னஸ் ஆஃப் த பாடி கர்ம சாமர்த்தியம் தட் இஸ் கெப்பாசிட்டி டு டூ எனி ஒர்க் இஃபிஷியன்ட்லி திஸ் இஸ் வாட் வி வர் ஸ்பீக்கிங் வைல் டிஸ்கசிங் த ரோல் ஆஃப் எண்டோர்ஃபின்ஸ் ஆன் த பிரெயின் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் மைண்ட் which prepares one to do his works with competence without getting tired or without feeling the pain and tiredness of doing it deepto agnihi that is kindling of digestive activities medasakshaya that is depletion of excessive fat vibhakta ganagatratvam that is clearly defined and chiseled out body parts especially the muscles the abs for which people work and a good looking body ஷிரம கிளம பிபாச உஷ்ண ஷீதாதீனாம் சஹிஷ்ணுத எக்ஸசைஸ் ஆல்சோ ப்ரொவைட்ஸ் டாலரன்ஸ் டு எக்ஸாஷன் டிரைவ் ஃப்ரம் ஃபிசிக்கல் ஒர்க்ஸ் ஃபெட்டி தட் இஸ் வேர் அண்ட் டேர் ஃபெனாமினன் அக்கரிங் இன் த பாடி தேர்ஸ்ட் ஹீட் 
and cold at the same time one needs to be sensible and sensitive while doing the exercise one should not get indulged in excessive exercise or deficit exercise both are harmful to the body and mind exercise should be measured and should be done according to one's capacity and tolerance in this regard ayurveda tells vayu bala sharirani desha kala ashanani cha samiksha kuriyat vyayamam anyatha rogam apniyat exercise should be done by taking consideration the age factor one's physical and mental strength and permeability the body type the region in which the person lives the season in which exercise is being done and the quality and quantity of food the person is taking if these are not considered the person may suffer from many diseases how scientific isn't it hope you have enjoyed the video don't forget to exercise regularly and keep yourself fit and healthy to learn more about health and ayurveda in an easier way keep watching easy ayurveda videos